Elon Musk announces the team behind his new AI venture XAI. Google launches a note-taking AI app called Notebook LM. YouTube launches a new feature where they suggest a video title for your uploaded video based on your transcript and your video description. Roblox, the popular gaming platform, is coming to Meta Quest VR. Meta also announces that you can use your Meta digital avatar for attending video calls. All these exciting news items and much more coming up in this 204th weekly episode of the Connected Church News with me, Nachi Lazarus. Welcome. This is the show that brings you the top five digital, social media, AI and Web3 news that you need to know for this week in just five minutes. Let's get started. YouTube has announced a release of a new feature that could be useful for churches and ministries as you upload your video on YouTube. YouTube will now suggest a video title for your video as you upload it based on the transcript and the video description. It will take a little bit of time to make those suggestions and it also has to be eligible as per YouTube's policies. But once that criteria is met, you will see suggestions from YouTube. I think it's an important thing for you to note down and pass on to your social media team because you know that YouTube title is one of the key aspects of any YouTube video and its success in the long term depends on the title. Now, if YouTube itself is going to give you a title suggestions, I would highly recommend that you consider taking that. Of course, it's only a suggestion. You can decide whether to use it or not, but I would highly recommend you note the uh, suggestions and then tweak it according to your need and requirement. Meta announced that Roblox, which is one of the biggest gaming players with more than 60 million users logging onto the platform every day, is coming to MetaQuest VR headsets. It will work in both MetaQuest 2 and MetaQuest 3. This could be a big move if you are in a teenage or young adults ministry space, then you know how important it is for you to keep track of gaming uh, news. Uh, once uh, this hits the MetaQuest stores, then there's going to be a big adoption with uh, respect to your audience. Meta also announced that they are releasing a feature within Instagram and Messenger where if there is going to be a video call, you can attend that video call using your digital avatars. You might have noticed on Instagram and Messenger that there is a new Meta avatar feature. Now you can uh, just swap your face and you can bring in your digital avatar and your avatar will move according to your facial expressions and you can attend the call. Google has announced that their Android Play Store will now have changes in its policy to accommodate blockchain-based digital content within the apps and games that are available inside the Play Store. This is a big news for the Web3 community because this discussion has been ongoing for the last few months about how NFTs are going to be accommodated within the mobile ecosystem. This could be a big boost for the NFT space because of Android's existing user base, which is spread all over the world. The announcement from the company says from reimagining traditional games with user-owned content to boosting user loyalty through NFT rewards, we are excited to see creative in-app experiences flourish and help developers expand their business. Definitely a news for you to watch out if you're exploring NFT-based digital content for your ministry. Did you know that we have an exclusive WhatsApp announcement group and an Instagram announcement broadcast group for the faith-based community? Yes, if you are not yet part of the community, then I would uh, recommend that you scan these QR codes and check out the community. This is basically an announcement group, which means it's a one-way communication from us. This is meant to give you breaking news, trends, strategies, tips, and so on. This is apart from these five news items that we share every week. There's just a lot going on in the digital space. You know that already. So there's a lot of news that we would like to share. Sometimes I'd like to share my thoughts with you, some strategies with you. That could help you move forward in the digital space as a ministry. So do check out these two broadcast lists, whichever platform you prefer. I'll see you inside the broadcast list. The new Threads app from Meta breaks the record for the fastest growing app in terms of users by gaining the first 100 million users in less than five days. Of course, the big difference is ChatGPT had no backing of a big app like Instagram behind it. Here, Threads has been very well structured in such a way that almost every 
Instagram user gets to know about the app and goes and registers on the app. So they had a little bit of help, let me say. So it's not a fair comparison, but still it's a good growth and the app looks good. I've been using it for a while. If you have not yet registered on Threads, I highly recommend you check it out. It's an interesting app and it is positioned as a competitor for Twitter, which I think it is in some ways, but it is definitely different from Twitter. It is still evolving. It's a new app. It doesn't have all the features of Twitter yet, but definitely worth checking out. In our AI news roundup, we have a couple of exciting news items. Elon Musk announces the formation of his new AI company. That's the word he uses, the formation. And basically it's an announcement that lists out the team behind his new company called XAI. And most of the team members are from either Google or OpenAI. So he lists out uh, a team that looks very good and uh, very promising. And the announcement says that the goal of XAI is to understand the true nature of the universe. That's an interesting announcement. And Google launches a new note-taking AI app called Notebook LM, LM standing for language model. And this is a unique notebook app. Uh, you would uh, find it interesting when you check it out. You can sign up for the wait list. Uh, it just picks up all the information that you feed it within the notebook pages and it analyzes and gives you results. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, then this might be a good time to click that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you do not miss any news episode that we upload here every week. You can also check out our Connected Church News playlist to keep learning more about the news and trends in digital and social media for ministry.